Lying in a king-sized bed in an executive suite at the Mandalay Bay, I was shaking uncontrollably. My heart repeatedly skipped beats and I was about to check out. Not from my room, but from my life. Out the darkened window, the dazzling panoply of multicolored lights stared back as if to say, in Vegas, even death is shrouded in glamour. Glamour. <laughs> what a joke. The glitz might as well be a CGI creation. For nothing in Vegas is real except the potential for loss. People flock to this desert oasis, hoping to leave a winner, to escape or salvage their lives, to right the sinking ship, or somehow validate their existence. But if they stay long enough, the odds are guaranteed they'll end up losing. The next mortgage payment, life savings, homes, family, self-respect, maybe everything, including the will to live. That's when I started thinking of my parents and how crushed they'd be if their son, who had left home at 19 with $150 in his pocket, no job, and no prospects to pursue his dream of being in a successful rock band, died from a cocaine overdose. That's when it hit me. Enough! I'd been up for two fog-filled, sleepless days. For the last 17 frenetic hours, when I wasn't fucking, and even sometimes when I was, I had a cup of Jack Daniels in one hand and a straw in the other. The chick I'd flown out for the weekend had ingested so much meth, she lay, nude and unconscious, next to me. Like a crazed dog, I'd indulged in sex, booze, and cocaine to a point that I was now clutching my heart to keep it from exploding from my chest. It was fibrillating, skipping beats. And for a drummer, that's some scary shit. Still, all I cared about was snorting the last of my cocaine and getting more. I mean, if there was any coke left, I had to do it. Need a visual? Try this. If there was a close encounters of the third kind mashed potatoes pile of cocaine left, I had to do it. In case you've never seen the movie, what I'm saying is, it was a huge fucking pile of blow, similar to the mountain of mashed potatoes Richard Dreyfus compulsively sculpts into the devil's tower on his dinner plate while his family looks on in abject horror. I'd had numerous parties, far too many, but this time the party had me. After snorting shitloads of coke and meth, my body finally gave out. Struck with the force of an electroshock current to the brain, I began convulsing and feared I couldn't stop. This was it. The end. All of the late nights had finally caught up with me. I was on top of the world with my third smash hit album, and at that point, the coolest thing about gold records was you could snort cocaine off of them. <laughs>